of the great wide open, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Really fun song to work on. It's got some cool chords I'm going to show you. And the song really only has two main parts, the verses and the choruses. Let's get into it. Hey, along with this video, you can actually go below, click that link, you'll get a free PDF cheat sheet to go along with the song. This way you can print it out, play with it when you're not in front of the computer. All right, the song starts out with this really cool run of E chords. First starts with an E minor chord, and this is the strumming pattern you want to do with each of the chords. Down, 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 down. Starting like this. And then we switch to the next one. If the down up at the end is kind of tricky for you, you can just do four downs and move to the next chord, and that's a great way to start a simplified version. E minors first. to an E minor major seven is the name of it, but it's super easy. All we're gonna do is bring our ring finger off, pointer finger to the first fret of the D string. And then we're doing an E minor seven, which just means take the pointer finger off and all you have left is the middle finger on the A string second fret. And then this is an E six chord at the end. That's gonna give us the fourth fret of the A string and the second fret of the D. That's all we need on that chord. And what that gives us is this cool walking bass line. Inside the chords, you hear this. And that's gonna start us out. Let's get to the verse. Okay, for your verses, all the verses, we start the verse, the first half of it, with the same thing the intro just did. So two times you'll play that intro when the vocals come in. Next part is going to be going to an A minor to a C. Same strumming. A minor, C, and repeat it. And that goes after the, over the words with the, he met a girl out there with a tattoo too. And the future is wide open, it's a G, the future. Same strumming, F, down, down, open C. Well, on top of the C, because it's a little bit different because it ends the verse. So, the future was wide open. Okay, so now when I get to the C, I want to strum um, six downs for one and two and three and four. Now, when we end that and four, we're going to do a quick down up with the G. What that riff was, was a down up with a G, down up, one C, and back to that G, up, down, down. That always ends off that verse. All right, and I recommend doing the G with these fingers like you're seeing me do with the ring, middle, and pinky, so you can transition to that C a lot quicker making that hop. So let me get that, uh, that last wide open there. So the future was wide. your verses. Do me a favor, drop me a comment why you love this song. Tom Petty, to me, has always been an artist that does songs that, you know, isn't overly difficult, but he always twists it just enough to make it so artistically cool. So tell me why you love Tom Petty or this song. Thanks for dropping a comment. Okay, when you're getting ready to get into the chorus, they do another verse, and there is a little variation before you start the chorus with that. Okay, the second time they do that, it's going to start the same but they're going to hit a D chord to set you into the chorus with that. So same idea. Second time. And then the chorus begins. All right, the chorus coming in. We're going to start with a G chord. And the strumming pattern I do for this is I just do all downs. I don't add that down up situation in there. Keep it a little more simplified for the big sing-along chorus. So we're going to do two beats or half a measure of the G, which is four downs. That's and then the C, and then the D is a full measure, so you get eight. That's the start of the chorus. 
a clue we're gonna do four downs of the G When you finish that A, it's an A sus 2. It's an easier A than having all three on there. You just have the middle on the D string, second fret, and then the ring finger on the second fret of the uh, G. And then you open up that B on there. And we're going to end it with that thing we did with the end of the verses. Let's combine that whole chorus together to get a little example of it. Just A, B, verses or choruses that do that. Have some fun with Into the Great Wide Open. Hey, if you want to take your guitar playing to another level, check out the guitarfactoryoc.com. I've created a bunch of cool courses, games, challenges to make you a better guitar player. I have courses that actually make it feel like you're taking private one-on-one -on -one lessons with me directly. So click that link in the description below and you'll get access to a free, totally free, quick start course today.